There is a Jewish parable of a mischievous, unruly boy who could not be corrected by his parents, by his teachers, by the principal, even by the police. And no matter what they tell him, threats about punishment, even imprisonment, he would not relent on doing wrong things. So the mother gave up on him but brought him to the rabbi in the village, a holy man. And then the holy man saw the boy without saying anything, embraced the boy for a long time, and the boy has never been the same again. He changed. Not by the power of the word, but by the power of an embrace. You know it, my dear brothers and sisters. Words have power. Words can correct. Words can guide. Words can also console. But words have limited power. When words cannot change anymore, then we resort to our rituals and gestures. And the most ancient of all rituals is an embrace. It is a kiss. Because every human being wants to touch another human being's skin. We all like to be touched in the skin. And we all like to touch one another's skin by an embrace, by a kiss. A kiss does not need an explanation. An embrace does not need an explanation. You just know it is a kiss. You don't give me the metaphysics of kissing. You don't give me the metabolic explanation for kissing. You don't give me the medical explanation when the adrenaline rises because of an embrace or a kiss. A kiss is a kiss, you understand it. An embrace is an embrace, you understand it. A touch is a touch and you understand it. There is no dissertation, there is no thesis that will be able to explain it. And such is the Eucharist. The Eucharist is God embracing us. God coming into our mouth. God coming into our hearts, God kissing us, flesh to flesh, embrace to embrace, kissed, repaid by a kiss. The Eucharist is presence. That is why we Catholics cannot be satisfied with attending Mass looking at a cell phone or a laptop. The laptop and the cell phone on a live streaming mass can give you words and words and words. But it cannot touch you. It cannot embrace you. You cannot kiss God on the cell phone on the laptop. You need to be present in the Eucharist so that you can receive the Lord into your mouth, into your soul, into your whole person. Remember, the Eucharist is presence. A loving, loving presence expressed by the tenderness of skin to skin, human to human, kiss to kiss, embraced by a loving God. And God who is all-powerful allows us to embrace Him. You will never be able to understand the Mass because the Mass is God becoming powerless. The Mass is God becoming weak, like a small bread. The Mass is not cake. The Mass is not champagne. The Mass is not a delicious pudding. The Mass is not an expensive aged wine. The Mass is simple bread and simple wine. We can hold the Lord. The Lord chooses to be powerless. 
And He chooses to be powerless to make it easier for us to love Him. That is what the Eucharist is. The internet, the laptop, the cell phone, the live streaming mass, these are signs of power. And some of us cannot even access Wi-Fi. But if the baby attracts you more than the dictator or the athlete or the rock star, then you know that the Lord has become powerless so that it will be easier for us to love Him. We can take the Lord into our hands. We can put the Lord into our mouths. Even if we are unworthy, the Lord will not take revenge. The Lord will not fight back. How do you explain that? That is love. That is how much God loves you. He has decided to be powerless to show us the beauty of powerless loving. So the Eucharist is presence. It is kiss. It is embraced by a loving God. The Eucharist is celebration of powerlessness. God choosing to be small to show His love for us. Promise. Do you remember the promise of your husband? I will never look at another woman ever again. And how it was broken. Do you remember the promise? I will study my lessons from now on. I will not use drugs. I will not drink. And it was broken. Do you remember the promises? You have heard and you have made. Promises you have broken, promises broken to you. But the promise of the Eucharist is a different kind of promise. The Lord tells you, I have allowed you to kiss me. I have allowed you to embrace me. Let that stick into your mind and to your heart. There is a beautiful promise awaiting you. The promise of the Lord is not just a vaccine for COVID-19. The promise of the Lord is not just a lower level of quarantine for the Gupan. The promise of the Lord is quarantine or no quarantine, pandemic or health, I will be with you. I will never leave you. I will never abandon you. The Lord trusts that we will keep our promise. We will not abandon Him. This is the Eucharist. The Eucharist is presence. It is a loving presence. A presence that embraces. A presence that kisses. The Eucharist is promise. Promise not just of health and protection from death. The Eucharist is hope in life everlasting. My dear brothers and sisters, we can continue, we can continue receiving the Lord by our prayers, by our acts of charity. But there is no substitute to an encounter with the Lord, God who embraces us, God who tells us, I love you and I will never leave you. I will be with you until the end of life. As we receive the Lord in Holy Communion, thank the Lord, but don't just do it for yourself. There are so many others outside this cathedral wanting to receive the Lord but they are not able. Receive the Lord on their behalf. He may the blessings you receive today be received by those who are unable to welcome the Lord at this time. 
with love, with faith, with hope, we are united in the Lord.